This is Jelly and Slogo Uncensored. Raw. Is there something wrong with us? Are we the problem? I don't want to damage anybody. I don't know if I'm going to regret saying this, but are you crying? Or... Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jelly? <laughs> yes, Josh. Clearly. Oh. Something has changed this episode. There's something different in this room. There's something really big going on here. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say it? I'm. Do you want to say it? Or should I say it? I think you should say it. You think I should say it? Yeah. You sure? Yes. Okay. Please. Explain <laughs> to the viewers and listeners what is going on in today's podcast episode. Me and Jelly have switched seats. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's nice. Yeah. So this is what it's like being Jelly in a podcast. And this is what it's like being Josh. I, I prefer this seat. This is the host seat. The like, host seat. For some reason, right? I know we're two thirds. Yeah. And, you know, it's supposed to look like both of us have an equal part in this. Yeah. But for some reason, this seat looks like the host seat. And that seat that you're in right now makes it look like you're so the do guest. You, do you feel like you're a lesser third? Uh, usually, yes. But yeah. now you feel elevated. I feel, I wouldn't say elevated because that's height related. However, I would sure. say I feel a little stronger about my position i mean i'm you can you go ahead you take the reins like, yeah you go for it i'd say we let the you're, viewers decide no, no we let the viewers decide no, you want no, no. me to see this on this side in the future you know we gotta we gotta have it this is an ongoing debate now josh no it's not the the debate is that i let you sit there for one episode and then we're going back to so what one. is it with this seat particularly like why do you want to sit here so badly i just like sitting there you don't like having somebody next to you. No, I think it's better that you're next to the guest. By the way, we obviously don't have a guest this episode. Yeah, and so, why don't we have a guest this so, episode? So this episode is quite <laughs> a, a milestone. Oh, a milestone. So we've we've had the we had our first episode, mm -hmm. which is the first time me and Jelly have ever touched a podcast. Ooh. Um, and then we had our second episode, which was with Quebble Cop. Right, Quebble Cop. Quite a big deal. Mm. And then we had our third episode, which was with Craner. Oh, God. And then here we are in the fourth episode. So this kind of closes out our little, I don't know, trilogy, but not trilogy. Yeah. I feel like stuff. this, you know, now that we've got all of that behind us, oh, 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 uh, where are we going oh, with this? Wait, 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 wait. I, I felt like now that so we've is, got is that... all of that behind us. So you're putting it behind you. Well, I feel like we had to talk about it. We This was, ah. this was something that was... In our career, in that happened, people wanted information, and we 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 decided let's give it. So to when the you people. when you say put it behind you, Jelly, are you saying that you are done with all of that? No, actually, my thoughts on both episodes were that we left it in a really positive way. I feel better about the situation about both people, about Craner and and Krabbelkop, than I than I did before. So you think that it was healing. Sure, yeah. I was speaking to Craner after the episode, after we recorded, and for him it was like a two-hour therapy session. Ah, yeah. And we didn't even and charge. He, we should have. Yeah. We should have charged yeah. him. How dare they? Yeah, right. I mean, how much do you therapists usually make these days? I, I think Good ones. Ask Craner, I guess. Good ones. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was... I agree. I think it was really good. And I think it, it wasn't only good for us. Yeah. I think it was good for the viewers. That's it, right? It need it, we did this for the viewers. Like yeah. they've been asking for explanations for years, yeah. and we've always stayed very private about it. But now we've grown up, we've matured, and that's exactly why I'm in the bigger seat as well today, right? Like I grow, I grew up even more now. Technically, this is the bigger seat. Sure, yeah, because it's the sofa, but yeah. this is the host seat. You know what I mean? I I think that's just something you've got in your head, Jay, that you need to work on. I like this angle. I like this angle. I don't. I, my neck hurts already in this position. Yeah, my neck usually hurts at the end of that. At the end of the episode, yeah. Well, I suppose you could just. Yeah, you could move a little bit. Although I'm going to get shouted at by the. The by producer the, might the producer. shout at you. Stop yeah. moving. Okay. Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, Josh, did you think that both episodes were therapeutic? The first two we did. Um. Or actually, we've done three episodes, but with Quabble Cop and Craner. I don't know. I didn't feel like they were as therapeutic for for me, right? And and maybe you as well. To so like, it wasn't exactly therapy for us in a sense. Like, right? It, it was definitely. I think we've given 
without sounding like too big up ourselves, we've given Geordie and Crane almost like a platform for them to yeah. kind of, I don't know, like work through yeah. the issues they caused. Yeah. And I think for us, it was coming um, to the realization that we weren't really the problem. Yeah. Like ever. Well, it, it sounds weird, right? The, like everyone always thinks it's a problem. And maybe for a while we thought it was us as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I think like, us doing the podcast is us showing almost being the bigger person, except for you, but like, like <laughs> the bigger people, I guess. Yeah. Um, and saying like, we know you, this is, ha this happened. Yeah. Um, but we're here if you want to come and do, do, you know, chat and get over this stuff. I think it's also important to say that these, these episodes that we're doing right now, um, they're not live. So no. we allowed Craner and we allowed Quibble Cop to cut out anything they want. Uh, you know, if there's something that we're not comfortable with, uh, you know, of course, you know, we're not going to put something out on the internet that they don't want there. And it's, but as far as I can tell so far, those episodes, my understanding is they're going to be unedited. Yeah. Effectively. Because you know, be aside from the minor stuff, but there's yeah. not going to be any um adjustments no no as far as we know right now because yeah. at the time we're recording this it, they haven't gone live yet. no so stuff could mm. change but my understanding at this point in time is those episodes are going to go up unfiltered or they have gone up un unfiltered which is interesting mm. it's not to say that there were that there were things that weren't said yeah right yeah. they were deaf i would say that there probably was some things that weren't said oh there were still things but that the things that were said, I think, will all go in um, yeah. into the podcast, which is I, don't, I think is super interesting because, mm. I, you know, when was the last time we had an unfiltered dialogue on anything on on, on the internet? Yeah, and, this and is this is that. jelly and slow go uncensored, raw, two thirds of it anyway. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. So Josh, uh, we'll go. We'll dig a little bit deeper into the Quebble Cop situation and the Craner situation, how we feel about it a little bit later. But yeah. I want to ask you, would you have any of them on again? Um, that's a good question. Would you, you know, wake up tomorrow and be like, you know what? Episode uh, five, we're going to invite Quebec Cop again well, I, to chat about mm, God knows what. I think later on in this episode, we're going to chat a bit more about the future of uh, of of Craner and Quebec Cop with us, I yeah, think. So yeah. we'll get into how we are going to see the future on that, yeah. which is, I think, where we'll pick on that a little bit more. But in terms of having them on the podcast again, um, I think pro I think I would be up for it. But yeah. I think it would be good if it was, if you know, if something was a, a, there was a theme or a topic or a yep. reason. Um, let's say Jordy gets exposed again for something, or <laughs> Josh, are you implying or that relapses? You, oh my god, Josh! <laughs> what? You weren't here in the Craners episode. He's doing well, man. Give him a for break. Now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, he's doing great. Is he, he gonna throw great. another smoke bomb? <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't understand, you've just gotta listen or watch that episode because yes. there's a lot of detail that we could go into today, but really if you want to get all the spicy, juicy information, you, you should probably go and watch those episodes. <sighs> yeah. So should we start with Quevelkop then? Yeah. So, so let's reflect on that. Yeah, let's um, reflect on it. And, and the things that were discussed, the things that we talked about, maybe even some things that you wanted to ask him and didn't talk about. I think we should also reflect on the, the a bit more of the behind the scenes. Oh, that's maybe we should start with behind the scenes because, because obviously we, right? we saw Quebec Cup before we sat down here to yes. record. I mean, we, we shook hands. We said, hey, uh, you know, blah, but it, blah, blah. But it, it, there's obviously we slightly dramatized the entrance. But yeah. uh, as in having Geordie come in in the podcast. Yeah, we already met um, him before that. But we, we had seen him beforehand, but we didn't We didn't spend a long amount of time with him. And we actually even discussed um, at one point having him walk in to the podcast exactly like he did, but we'd not seen him. And it was actually, um, I, I don't know, I suppose I can say this, right? Like Geordie yeah. had a bit of a wobble like beforehand. Uh. He was a bit unsure about the podcast. You want to talk about the cancelled episode? The, the well, <laughs> the cancelled episode from when we were initially going to shoot. Yes, you you can talk about it if you want. So, long story short, uh, we had the recording. So, obviously, we all need to meet up 
at this studio in order to record this podcast. Yeah. This this is an if you're listening to this, we're not we're not just recording this over Discord or over the internet. We are physically in a studio and we are here. We need to physically be here. That means I need to travel here. Josh needs to travel here and our guest needs to travel here. Yep. Our guest was going to be Quebel Cobb, our first guest. Yep. Day before, the day before we were going to shoot our episode and the day before everyone was going to fly in. Don't say the word though. Of we at least I couldn't travel yeah. because of uh, circum certain circumstances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a very popular illness. Uh, not, not, not. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of left C, the world these days. C, no, well, I don't, I don't know. Well, about that. anyway, it prohibits you from traveling, so we had to delay the episode. Yes, but obviously, Quebec Cop's tickets were still booked. Yeah, we couldn't just say. Uh, hey, Quebec Cop, you're not welcome anymore. We have to delay this episode. If he wanted to physically see you, th that option was still there. And and we talked about this initially, and you said, yeah, fine. You know, we'll, we'll meet up with Quebec Cop. We're not going to record the podcast. We'll delay the recording, but mm -hmm. we'll, I'll meet up with him anyway. So how did that go, Josh? Yeah, I mean, uh, one of the reasons why he also did still come on the original recording date was because he was going to new york yeah he um, had another trip, trip planned yeah so, so. He, and he was flying out from the uk to do that so he had to come either way uh so he came uh here to see the you know the, the studio we've got uh we went and got dinner with him it was all pretty it was all pretty pretty fine actually uh, I, hadn't, I hadn't seen him in quite a while um the last time i'd seen him is i'd actually happened to visit his office oh um, yeah 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 in yeah September so, or something last year yeah and it all went, we sort of chatted about some of the things that we, me and Jelly wanted to talk about. Yeah, um, in two thirds. Yeah, in the, in the actual podcast. Uh, but it was all fairly light. It, yeah. it was, yeah. And it was actually then in the couple days afterwards yeah. that Jordy said to us, he was like, I'm not, I'm not too sure about it. Yeah, you know? so he actually, he, Josh, uh, Jordy visited you here in the office, saw the setup, saw the studio, uh, you guys talked a little bit about some talking points, some things we wanted to address, and then Jordy decided not yeah. to record with us anymore. Yeah. yeah, to 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 not show up with the podcast. Yeah, which was um, I it was definitely a bit of a shock at first. Um, I but, was disappointed. I was worried about that happening when yeah. I had to cancel my trip. I think what it it turned out to be was, um, I think. <sighs> It was a difficult thing is I think there was a lot of pressure building up yeah. in anticipation of the podcast. And then having such a last minute cancellation, I think was was quite uh, kind of threw off all the nerves yeah, around a bit. It off. Yeah. And um, I, I think it, you know, it also didn't help then then hearing about the things that we were going to talk about and then sort of thinking about them a bit more yeah. without some cl clarification on them. And it was a bit of a mixed thing, but we chatted through it in a in a pretty good way yeah and um geordie came back on board um props to him so. yeah 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 yeah. so so i don't know what changed his mind really but we basically tried to explain it to him like hey i, I we believe that this is going to be good for not only the viewer but also our, our our personal relationship with each other yeah and you know anything you don't want to well i think it, land I think, on the internet i think we what we were out. i think we can say like it we were sort of saying to geordie i'm like if you want to do some healing here, like you want to like heal some of the wounds yeah. you caused, you need to come yeah. to do that. Like, I think this is going to be good. So in the end, we did find a new date to record the episode with Quibble Cop. Yeah. And well, you know, and that's, and that's was how there and he walks in and yeah. then, and then how did the recording go? How, what was your initial thoughts? I, um, yeah, I think it went well. I mean, obviously this, this was a, our second ever episode. Yeah. So we were, we were dealing with the fact that me and Jelly are learning how to do this, right. how to be podcast hosts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, at the same time, you know, sort of handling Cobble Cop, um, yeah. who's, you know, there's, he's, there's a lot to him. There's a lot of personality there. So I think that that was, um, that was definitely quite an experience. Mm. Um, but I think it went well. And I think we touched on the points that we, we basically touched on everything I think we wanted to. There was definitely some things we could have gone further into. Um, yeah, you know, I like, think things kept maybe they were getting slightly derailed in the conversation. Yeah, things were getting derailed, and I also feel like I don't want to. He's obviously not here to defend himself, but sometimes I feel like jo Jordy's explanations don't actually explain anything. Um, for example, yeah. uh, I, I I I was you know when he left us and he started creating content to try to try and get at us or something. He he. 
he kind of had an excuse for that, and I was just like, oh, yeah, that didn't really land very well. But it's okay. I forgive him now. You know. Yeah. We've chatted it out. Um, I think it's it, it became evident that it was more about understanding the the intent rather than uh, we, we're not we're not we're not here for them to be apologizing and begging for forgiveness. Yeah. We just want them to kind of to accept that their intent was maybe not the right thing and they were in this bad mindset or they were looking at things the wrong way and they just accept that that was not right we're not really too fussed about them kind of going that was i'm so sorry for that like that nah. we're not really that's not really what we, we don't want. need an, ap an apology for and anything. to be fair to be to can be completely fair i don't think we really needed anything no 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 right well the the thing that we needed was uh, we wanted to explain certain things to our audiences but exactly we, we don't want to do that without him being here because because Spot we on. want him to be able to defend himself i mean I, I couldn't have said that better myself like that was that's exactly it like yeah. it's it's there's it would be meaningless to us and i think especially because craner quebecop they've all made videos or references to yeah. this but we've never done it no and i think the difference is from our perspective they did it in a in a well maybe somewhat predictably in a somewhat selfish format yep. they kind of were like oh we're on, i'm under pressure this yep. is them global Cop and Karina. i'm under pressure so i'm going to say what i need to say to to, to to try and ask for forgiveness from my audience yeah and and, and also be like you know tone it down or stop putting pressure yeah. on me whereas for us our focus was we we aren't just we don't want to just say something to just make the viewers go oh, okay fine and move on yeah. we wanted to give the viewers a actual insight and understanding yeah because i think to be honest that's what we think they deserve absolutely and and that's exactly why we are doing a reflecting episode today as well because yes. everything that we discussed in the quebec cop and craner episode was real yes uh and uh but but still there's there's still you know we still have thoughts and feelings coming out of that exactly and we want to be able to share those as well we believe it's important to our personal lives but also to our business lives and to our friendship and and all of this and I, stuff and I think, together and i think to be honest with you with the podcast is we wouldn't be this wouldn't be a, a new thing this wouldn't be a change for us if we just did took how we approached our videos and just kind of squished it into a podcast format <laughs> we're trying to push ourselves to to go outside of our comfort zone here and yeah. and approach things differently yeah and i think that you know doing this reflecting on it and talking about it and sort of going even deeper into these already incredibly deep <laughs> insights into what we are doing yeah. is is unique and i think it's also hopefully it's something a bit different in in podcasts in general right? i hope so i mean you know we're really going deep into youtube drama and our personal drama yeah and i don't think many youtubers have done that no i think they do a lot of the what we talked about with with geordie and craner that that sort of surface level yeah the selfishness forgive, forgive us fans type yeah thing. forgive us fans forgive yeah. us fans so so we had the the Craner episode, right? So that was recorded some time after the Quebecot one. Yeah, and uh, I think you want to take a little bit of uh, the the lead on this one, right? Then? So uh, I was actually initially the one who invited Craner to join. Josh was obviously on board of it, uh, but I had already been. Uh, I'm I'm not in your communication with him was a bit a bit more yeah i'm frequent. communicating with craner regularly we, we we chat we don't call or play games together whatever but we're we're, we're we, we just chat and he sends me some pictures of his dog whatever whatnot yeah um for, for, he, for as long as the dog's around realistically i wouldn't say he's been begging but he's been asking to to come back to the group he's been asking to record uh, videos with us again the thing is right like what what has he been saying he's basically been he just asks me like when am i gonna record with you guys again and then i'll be like and i don't know and then and then and then he'll ask like a couple days later he'll be like have you guys thought about it and like for me and josh like we just want to we just wanted to have this moment of chatting with him about it and reflecting about it before we move on and decide how to continue and so that's why we decided we need craner on the podcast we need to talk about this and whatever happens there happens and then we'll we'll see how we move on from there which is we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later yeah. on the episode but. but so that's basically how i explained it to him as well on my 
in, in my invitation to this podcast. Yeah. So he was super nervous. And I think... So, so do you think he he's approached this with the perspective of like... Because we joke that... I'd say joke, but we joke that there's a theme of like the interview that like, <laughs> is this person... We could be, you know, especially with the future episodes of having all sorts of cool, crazy guests on that they could be the next person to join our group. Yeah. Do you think that Craner came into his episode thinking that there was... A potential for him to come back. Yeah. And I that's think, not saying that there isn't. I'm just saying, do you think that that was his focus? I think, I think two thirds of him is thinking that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but I, I believe that, yeah, I think he's hoping to come back to us. Uh, and and his, way, his way in is to chat with us in this podcast or something else. Um, mm. Because you've not been communicating with him that no, much. No, and I would actually... I would he, actually, he's never met you in real life. I would go course. on record to almost say that I have avoided talking to him. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So, you know, if he sends me sort of a message, I'm I'm definitely not eager to to respond. Yeah, and I understand that. You know, he 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 hurt us and uh sucked the things we had to go through. It sucked what he had to go through, but mm. you know. So we talked about that in the Craner episode. What, what did how did you think that the actual episode went then? Um Well, you know, Obviously, I, I invited him. Um, he he was he wasn't very keen on joining. He I think he talked about it with some friends and family, whatnot. Uh, they I think convinced him to go. Well, that was that was an interesting reveal in the episode. Is he basically said, "I wasn't going to do it." No, he wasn't going to do it. And then it changed his mind. Yeah. So we we truly believe that we like if we close our eyes we could be anywhere right now behind our computers mm -hmm. uh, about to record some videos together you know what i mean yeah. like like it it should have that same feeling and that's how we wanted to bring it to him as well yeah and um eventually he decided okay you know what uh i'll come over and we'll we'll record this and we'll do this and yeah no then 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 he arrived things went well i think the recording was good um, and I chatted to him after, and he actually thought that uh, he was nervous at the start, but he thought that it was, it felt like how it used to be before we recorded together. Does this make sense? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I want to ask you a question about Quebble Cop. We talked about this in uh, the, the episode that we did with him. However, I didn't ask you or your opinion. So Quebble Cop's now a daily vlogger. Yeah. Which is something that we've kind of been against doing can i say that yeah i don't i think we're definitely not into vlogging at we're all. not in i'm into you know an occasional vlog is fine but, yeah, but i'm not gonna share my daily yeah, life vlog an experience yeah i vlog an experience it's yeah. not it's not daily vlogger so what do you think about that I, what are your feeling about what are your feelings about him showing up here vlogging i find it really annoying and why is that just i think it's like I don't know what it is, and I don't know if we just come from a different generation of YouTubers. Yeah. But, which is weird because I remember when we came into YouTube, there were plenty of daily vloggers. Yeah. But I think the 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 idea that someone can just film you all the time, yeah. like, without permission in a sense. Which was happening, by the way. Yeah. And, and I think that, it, obviously, I don't know. Yeah. I don't like, I think it makes, it makes me really uncomfortable. It makes me feel extremely uncomfortable. And you know, the thing is, right, <clears throat> people don't see this because they watch the final cut, which is a 10 to 15 minute long vlog. But that cut contains uh, possibly three to four hours of recordings yeah. throughout the day of things that I might've said at what I didn't know was being recorded. Yeah. Uh, things are going on. I don't know at what angle I'm being filmed. Yeah. It's uncomfortable. And even in this studio, there's there's some rooms in the studio we don't we don't feel like should live on the internet. We don't want to yeah, we don't want to share it, that part. It, so. It's funny having that exposure to the, the the vlogging thing has actually made us make some decisions in the studio where we're like, um, there's now rules on where we say like yeah. recording can be done. Like yeah. we we say that we can do people can vlog and stuff in like a certain area, um, just because it means that you can sort of escape from it, I guess. <laughs> are, you, are you crying? Or? Yeah. Yeah, I am. It's uh, uh, a vlogging. Uh, no. Yeah, but it's, you it's can annoying. Just, it just sounds weird to say escape. Like Vloggers are obnoxious yeah. and annoying. Yeah. I, I, it's a statement, but it's true, I think. 
Jeez. I mean, especially to the people around vloggers. I think yeah. like the na the nature of vlogging in general, especially in public settings, is you may as well be waving a flag around that says, I'm the most important person in this room. Mm. I don't care about anyone else. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> obviously, Jordy Kwebelkop, he had a cameraman with him. Yeah. So he's not the one holding the camera. Which is... Which is even more interesting. It's even, in my opinion, it's even worse. I suppose, yeah, I, I think because the intention to have a cameraman is to film the, the bits that you wouldn't normally see. Yeah. But because you're not, you don't have that first person view on things, you lose some of the personality anyway. So it's, yeah, it's it's a weird one. It's a weird one, and I and I don't know whether it's just we're being grumpy and old. Like, Maybe we're being grumpy and old. But and I know, like I've watched vlogs my entire life. I grew up watching many YouTube and enjoyed them. <laughs> and it, I love watching vlogs. Yeah. But there is a difference when you are the target of a vlogger. When you are the one that they need to film, so they got a good thumbnail, yeah, they got a yeah. good intro, and, and that is annoying. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately. So moving on a little bit. So we've um, we've reflected on Quibble Cop, we've reflected on Craner. Oh. And um one of the things I was I was thinking about, especially with the podcast and the idea is we're gonna get some diverse and crazy guests on. Yeah. Who knows, maybe we'll find the third, the missing third. The missing what, third. What are we what would we be looking for in a missing third? Because you know, <clears throat> we've each of us have bring different skills and pros and cons to the table right what would fill that missing third <laughs> I, I don't know i don't know if i can describe a person that i don't know yet <laughs> well yeah but it's and, and, like... the, and maybe the better question is where like obviously here the third the third one's always our guest well yeah in the podcast but well, they sit right there yeah but realistically you know, we still have another job and that's recording gaming content where it's just us two as well. And we're looking for a third person there. But are we really like we don't really know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and you know, what's funny. We actually, want it to go natural. I you think know? you saying that as well is interesting because I think that the viewers underestimate how little we do know at, at, at any time. I mean, maybe they understand a bit more now that they've heard about the Craner <laughs> and the, the Quibble Cop stuff. There's no grand conspiracy theory behind all of this like well there used to be maybe and now it's all well, no, but that's what exposed. i'm saying the reality is not that complicated like it usually comes down to some pretty yeah. simple but uh, you know maybe complex emotionally things right but they're they're simple concepts yeah and I, I think that's the same thing for us it's like we don't have a set plan like we don't mm. there's not like we are looking actively for a third person but no. it's not like we're against it for the gaming and it's the same thing even for this podcast. Who knows? We might find <laughs> another host, you know? Or yeah, like, yeah, for sure, yeah. And then have guests then. Like, it's... Yeah. I think... We'll need another sofa. Sure. Yeah. Um, but I think that's... I mean, you can sit on the floor. <laughs> that's okay. Or you can sit on my lap. Oh. But I think the two-thirds thing is kind of encapsulates that whole thing for us where it's yeah. like we... There's you and me, yeah. but it's like we aren't something... We aren't one thing together we're but we're pieces of like almost like a bigger thing but that's <sighs> it's a constantly evolving thing so we're individual pieces of a bigger thing yeah but and specifically individual pieces i think that's the interesting thing is there well. something wrong with us <laughs> are we the problem are we the problem because craner left and quibble cup left both with uh trauma <laughs> and uh we did we, we cause we're fine. The trauma? did we cause it did we make it worse for them should maybe. we have should we have seen it coming maybe we just gaslighted them into thinking their problems were their problems yeah when actually we cause yeah. those problems and maybe if we get a new member especially with the way you were speaking about the alcohol to create <laughs> So if you haven't watched that episode, you should. Yeah. But yeah, Craner was talking about his alcohol addiction. Yeah. Uh, which is obviously a, a sad story. Uh, and I asked him what his what <laughs> favorite drink was. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't want to. I want to. I want to add to that a little because I did. I did. I I made a note to for you to give you some room to okay. like. To, to Me and Craner checklist. banter about stuff like that all the time. Yeah, and that we, pushes him to the edge. 
What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, but I feel like it's it's just a joke. Craner Craner can have <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, sure no, can. no, 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 but um, yeah, <laughs> I, I Craner laughs about those stuff, you know? Oh, okay, <laughs> Josh, please, please, you're putting me under uh, what you're like, you're no, like no, I, I gave here. you the room to clarify this, Jenny. Hey, I, I, I felt, I felt like, I felt like the question was valid. <laughs> I'm making it worse. <laughs> no, it was just a funny joke. All right. And and Craner laughed about it. And his answer was beer. So there's that. Oh, well, I'm glad. <laughs> was it? Actually, I, I thought know. it was vodka. I, I don't know. You, you, you focus more What's your more favorite than drink, Josh? Dude, I've, I don't know why people don't just say water more often. Water's dope. Water is dope. I've got a b- bottle of water right here. <laughs> Like, what's the funny part? Water. Yeah, that's all I, I don't know. Say. Like, uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm not a big drinker mm-hmm. at all. Um, I don't. I'm not like anti it. No. Um, but like, uh, I'm not really. I'm not. I've never been that too bothered about. It. I don't really know what why Corona makes such a big deal about it. To be honest. <laughs> 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 Okay, oh, okay. Josh, that's bad. Okay, all right. We should probably yeah, we, we, move on from this. I feel like we've we done it. We've done. We've probably made this just worse. We have made it worse. Um, but I but think, the thing is, I know like how we just discussed it. If Craner would be here listening, he would laugh his ass off. Yeah, and that would be validation for us. That would be yeah, yeah. It's fine. We're not making fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. No. Okay, let me uh, think of something completely. No, well, we were still touching about the fact that we might be carrying some kind of virus that's kind of, uh, you know, hurting people around us. So, do you think? Do you think that if we get a new member, we'd ruin them as well? <laughs> and and you know what's crazy about it is that they're getting worse. Can't say. Can't say it. I can't say it. What? No, I can't say it. Can't say what? <laughs> you can, are you talking about? No, I can't say what? it. What? No, no, it's too much. What is? No, I can't. Can Stop you, it. Can you can you mouth it? You can me? imply it. What what is you it? You can imply it. What? Well, well, well that what, everyone what that's re- every- everyone that's recorded with us, their dads have died. <gasps> Fuck. Josh. It, I thought that's what you were implying. <laughs> Josh, what is, no. I thought that's what you Josh, were implying. How dare you? I thought that's what you were implying. <laughs> <laughs> what were you talking about? <laughs> I was <laughs> <laughs> just putting it on you. I'm happy with both of us were thinking that. Well, obviously, that's not the case. All right. Obviously, that's not. Yeah, it was. It, it just. Well, we. It, it was a coincidence. Hopefully not. Like, imagine we get a new third member. <laughs> Dad dies. Oh my god! <laughs> Should we find an orphan? <laughs> <laughs> what? what are you trying to get a preset? <laughs> well, you were asking me a couple minutes ago what we what we would be looking for. Maybe my answer is an orphan. That's not how it works. <laughs> you can't just pop down to the local orphanage and be like, "It's a joke." It's a joke. <laughs> I don't mean that. What? I mean, how do you want me to answer that anyway? What, answer what? I didn't ask you anything. <laughs> like, like, how, like, what would I be looking for in a new person? Yeah, I. Yeah, but I never said that. I was never questioning whether we'd be looking for someone. Oh my god! All right, all right. So you want someone pre-damaged? No. Okay. Wait, what? If I, I say no, is that making it worse? No. So you want someone fresh so that you can damage them? No. I, okay, fine. I don't want to damage anybody. Fine. Okay. I'm glad we got there. My in the end. god, this. <sighs> I thought this episode was supposed to be about reflecting. Maybe we are the problem. Maybe we are the problem. Oh my, my god. god. Okay. I hope you're all okay watching this. <laughs> so like, not crying or something. All right, all right. I think we need to just take a moment to <laughs> just like oh, Jesus. I'm gonna look at my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Save us. Save us right now. Save us. Maybe we shouldn't have a podcast. So Jordy said that um he put his he put his money on 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 this. And he said that Oh, yeah, what was this? His bet. Yeah, his bet. He he basically said that he believes Whoever came up with a podcast idea, all right, 
is the one who matures the fastest, and therefore he chose it to be me. Yeah, I feel like he pulled that straight out of his ass. I don't know where that really? came from. So, like, uh, well, yeah, maybe, are you offended? Oh, Are you offended that Quebec Cup thinks I'm the one who matures the fastest? I, this is the point. I just don't think he has any idea where that what he was meaning when he said that. It doesn't really hmm. make any sense to me. Maybe he's just like, oh, Josh is younger. No, 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 no. Because so I think he was sort of saying like, because of the, you've had the, you've been through the, the hit piece and then you've like grown from it and then you've had time to reflect. And then that was in response, you wanted to do something. <laughs> Maybe it was because I got a hate video made on me and then Jordy's like, oh, He's got a hate me video made on him. He's going to start a podcast. What accent was that? It was supposed to be Amsterdam. Oh. Amsterdam English. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. know. I, I, I don't... I think this goes back to what we kind of slightly discussed at the beginning, though, with Geordie, though, where yeah. um, sometimes you, you get the... You get a slightly cloudy answer. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His answers are always very vague. Mm. And I feel like when you line them up, they speak against each other. Yeah, yeah. Well, they conflict. and They and conflict. They, yeah, and they, yeah. And that's why I, sometimes I'm so confused. Which is why I think going back to it, I suppose, as well, like, it'd be interesting with Geordie whether um, if he did come back onto the podcast again, it would be in a more directed format. So we, if, if he manages to get himself into another bit of drama, it would be interesting us you know maybe pressing him a bit on that and uh does that make sense like yeah not, yeah not not letting him uh kind of get cloudy about it again and maybe mm. maybe getting the real answer out of Jordan. but maybe that's just who he is yeah well, you know yeah like i know and you've told this to me as well like sometimes i'll just mumble and mumble and in the end like what we what we were actually talking about is not what i'm talking about anymore yeah. you know what i mean yeah yeah did i just do it no 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 okay good no, no. <laughs> I, I just guess what you're saying anyway. Honest, so. so I think I think it's probably about time we had a talk about Ooh. about the future then with Crane yeah. and Jordy. So are we going to record gaming videos with Quebble Cop or Craner again? I don't think so. And why is that? Because I just think that we've grown too far apart. I think that we are Do you think the audience will agree with that? Do I think the audience would agree with that? I don't... I think right now, they would probably not. But I think maybe when they've had time to listen to us in this format and listen to our perspective on everything, yeah. they would understand it a bit more. So I agree with you, especially with Quebec Cup. Yes. We've I, definitely grown further from Quebec Cup than that we have from Craner. I think that Craner is a bit different. I think Craner is more... is is a bit more lost right now than than yeah 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 i get what you mean yeah pa creator is still searching for something and yeah. he's still handling his 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 own uh, mental health and whatnot uh, and I, figuring himself out i do think that we would be almost like the easy way out for him i actually think that if we would start recording again with craner it would not be very good for his i think he health. would go back yeah, and and that's Especially what I'm really scared of you ask because him. because I I I know. Wait, what? The questions I asked him. Oh, no, but those are jokes. Um, All right, but uh, <laughs> the thing is, right? I I Craner has healed a lot, and he's 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 figured out a lot about himself over the past year and a half, and that's very good. You know, yeah. he's 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 growing up. He's becoming a man. But yeah, but I I believe. Stop laughing. <laughs> I, I believe that if we would start recording with him again, he might start struggling. I, I also Maybe he will start comparing his life to ours. And you know what I mean? Like, I, I, he might need more time. I just don't. I just, yeah, I don't think. It's not going to result in anything good. I don't think that Quebec or Krenef, that I don't think their puzzle piece fits in anymore. Unfortunately not. I think that they are a a triangle shape and we have a circle hole to fill <laughs> okay what circle hole's that <laughs> <laughs> look i was trying to make it poetic jelly all right right well if the triangle's small it fits in the circle and i don't know if i'm going to regret saying this but when i don't 
think I am saying that forever. No, yeah, no, that's that's something good to to to, to mention right? because yeah. just because we're feeling like this now doesn't mean it'll change in the future. When our when our channels have died even further, we might we might not result in anything other than recording with Global Cup and Grainer, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I also at the same time I don't think that I mean and you know, we do we have every belief that our channels are still healthy and we still love yeah, our my, audience. My channel's doing fine. And and I and I think that we are still putting a lot of our energy and our and our time into our own channels as well. Yeah, you're and, putting a lot of energy in mine. But I case. don't. I don't actually think that that. I think Quebec or Crane are coming back would be would kind of satisfy the questions of people going, when are they going to come back, or I miss them. But I don't think it would actually make anything better. It actually the content wouldn't even be the same. It wouldn't be like. You know, they, they'd still say like, oh, we missed the old day. We missed the old days where they did this. Yeah. You know, the thing is as well, like everyone grows up, not only us, but also the audience, yeah. right? So something that they used to watch when they were younger is not particularly something they'd enjoy watching today. That's also why we started this podcast. That's the entire reason we started this podcast. So does that mean that you need to now text Craner and say that he's not coming back? He's not coming back. I think he'll hear that. He'll hear it from the episode. We're just gonna wait, wait until <laughs> no, someone I, clips it and sends it to him. I him. mean, like, I don't. And, and I say this because you're I'm the get, you're I, the one that's had this dialogue with him. I'm gonna wait and see if he's gonna approach me again with this question. This is interesting as well because um, I don't. This I think we are underestimating how big of a reveal it is that we're saying that Craner wants to come back. Because there's going to yeah. be a lot of people watching out there that are going to go, what the heck? What are you guys doing? Why are you, yeah. Why are you not just And, and, and I, even though I've already said that people should understand a bit more into our view on things, um, I think there's still going to be a large portion of people out there that are, we, we might actually get some hate for, oh, for this. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's probably other things that we've said that we deserve a bit of hate for, but like specifically this, like people are going to have some thoughts and opinions on this. You know, and, and that's valid. I, 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 I I I agree, but unfortunately, you know, right we, now we have to make a grown-up decision. Yeah, and we feel like we're not going to make Craner's life any better by continuing recording with him. I I actually like you know what I mean. Like I'm scared for the guy's mental and also physical health. So I think that he's <laughs> yeah he's like, got a ways to go. Um, on yeah, his own. you know, like he needs to build his own life back before, and he he, he shouldn't be using us as a shortcut. Actually, a, a point, I don't want to sort of derail this a bit. It's, it's definitely on topic. But one of the things I wanted to ask is, did you believe Craner when he said he's, he's enjoying making videos? No. Neither did I. No, I don't think so. I just don't, I don't, I don't see it. I don't know how that's possible with the what he's doing. With playing Roblox. Uh, it's not just day. Roblox because people love playing Roblox. So I do believe he's enjoying his routine. Yes. Because because Craner is a type of person he needs a routine and yes. he only functions on routine. Yeah. So, it, you know, if he has to sit down for 2 hours and record two videos, he'll handle that as long as it's a part of his routine. Yeah, I think you yeah, you've said that perfectly. I think that that is it. I think that's what he's focused on. Yep. And um, Is he enjoying it? No, but he's probably enjoying the routine. Yeah. You know, he's he, he's enjoying his his, his his life at the moment and his his improvement of his mental health and and, and, and all of that. I mean, it is it is actually somewhat <clears throat> controversial though to to tell to say that. Like he's he said that he's he's happy with it and we're just saying no, you're not happy. <laughs> we we are the problem, Jelly. We are the problem. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't really say that directly to his no. face, but he's going to probably... Luckily, no one watches this, right? Right. We don't know yet. Oh, God. Actually, I mean, is it... Is, can we say this? I think we can say yeah. this. Yeah. <sighs> like, I, uh, I don't... We can't I, hide these time right. frames. So, so, Josh, I'm not going to ask you what day it is today. However, what's happening today? At the time that we're recording this podcast... So, actually... What is happening? In... In 30 minutes, roughly. In our 30 minutes Yes, here, yeah. in, in our 30 minutes right now, the first episode of the podcast is going live. Which means that this episode is a month month ahead of And actually, so. you know why it's important to, um, to say this? Because we aren't... It, uh, and I think we weren't sure whether we were going to talk about this or not. But now reflecting on it, yeah. why wouldn't we be talking about what the fans have been thinking? Yeah. We, we're not, right? 
because we if, can't. If, it, if it's already gone live right now, we yeah. would. Yeah, we can't because, because we we'd love know. to. We'd love to read your comments and read your feedback and get into that in the episode. However, <laughs> we this we decided to pre-record the Quebec Cop and Craner episode and the Reflection episode, which is this. Yeah. So. So, so that we could, yeah, so that we could, um, I think it's just so that we could start strong. Yeah, so we could and, start strong. Um, but it also means that from today, uh, from this podcast, our first episode goes up and also we were, are now looking forward. Yeah. Um, so I think we can say, obviously, that our first guest that we're going to have on... Um, on next, next week's podcast. Yeah, on next week's podcast that is not... <laughs> From the past, yeah, is 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 a famous uh, YouTuber magician, yeah, called Dan Rhodes, mm -hmm. super super talented, great guy, kid. I guess he's a kid. He's a kid, yeah. Which makes us feel old saying twenty kid. million subs, insane, 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 insane. Is like, he going to replace Quabble Cop? Recruiting? So he's well, he's so he's short form content, um, so almost primarily, um, I don't know. He's had quite a. a a fast fast rise yeah um and it's i think he's star well i think he's like the second biggest youtuber in the uk wow who's the biggest I, well i in terms of viewerage I, so i don't know uh, oh. i don't know but I, someone mentioned that and i'm okay, probably well, not even true but. anyway yeah so i think it's important to clarify again we haven't been interacting with our audience as much yet because these episodes yeah. have been pre-recorded but i think yeah moving forward in the future it's going to be a little bit different yeah. we're going to have more fan interaction we're yeah. gonna try our best to and, and also integrate some feedback from now integrate on. feedback yeah right. maybe they maybe they like this angle yeah what what do you mean this like, uh, where we're sitting yeah no how, how are you liking it so far I, I mean i don't mind it but i definitely would prefer sitting there why is that just because like it's just like a nice this is more comfy I, I'll, I'll i'll say it but you know what i i, I don't mind sitting next to the guest I think it's better if you sit next to the guest. Oh, man, I'll, I'll take it. Because then you can sort of cozy up to them if they're getting sad. I'm not saying we've settled it, but... Okay, deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Deal. So, Josh, I think... I think now that we've done some reflecting... Yep. Maybe it's time for the audience to know a little bit more about us and our personal lives. Okay. So, we've decided for many years ago, we decided to stay more private about certain things... Um, and this podcast doesn't allow that. Okay. We have to open up about certain things that maybe, hey, you know, we've never talked about. Right. And this has nothing to do with Quibble Cup and Craner. Right. So is there anything you could think of right now in your head that somebody who's watched you for years doesn't know about you? Oh, Jelly, this is what I do to everyone else, and you're doing it back to me. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to need some... Um, some homework support on that do you do you have something then uh well i got a little list here of things so oh, okay josh what was your <laughs> what was your favorite holiday oh what's the coolest place you've ever been as a youtuber youtuber trips oh as a youtuber that's a good question actually because as a youtuber <clears throat> we often get uh brands asking us to come and film something well, we, somewhere we actually had a really interesting trip right once we um so we went on a on a yacht Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that was a super yacht. Yeah. I remember. I think it was a 40 meters. So that's how many feet is that? Like 250 feet. Uh, 40 meter super yacht. And that was to promote a game. It was to promote a game. Um, we were there with Quebec Cop and I some think, other YouTubers. I think it would be. We this, were sleeping on the boat. It would, might be so. Wouldn't this be interesting, though, to dive in a bit more into like how the <laughs> hell that even happened? Oh, my God. Like, because we could sit here and do what probably, probably people like quibble cop would do which is just focus on talking about we got invited to a yacht yeah bro cool but, yacht but like how do you did, know how expensive how did it was? that happen like so so i think i'll i'll sort of explain it but i don't really remember it fully so by all means cut me uh cut in if, <clears throat> if i don't remember anything okay, correctly go ahead. but so we we basically we had a, a relationship with uh, someone who worked for this games company uh. um that makes mobile games and they invited a few YouTubers and it was, it wasn't just us. So it was like you, me, um, Quibble Cop, And then there was like Casper Lee, um, his, Josh Peters. I think, um, there's a, there's, there's a friend of theirs as well. Yeah. I don't uh, who's really also a magician, I think. 
wasn't he a magician? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Were there others? There, there may be some others. And then some of the team from that um, yeah. game. But they didn't company. sleep on the boat because we were cooler. Yeah. Did they not? <laughs> no, we did not. Do you remember this? It was quite a while ago. I found it actually kind of odd. And I, 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 the boat was really like wobbly as well because we were just sleeping on the ocean. And uh, yeah. it wasn't actually particularly nice but the to whole, sleep on the boat. The whole thing about it was quite interesting as well. So we were never paid to do that. No, we got invited. They rented a boat. Uh, we said, yeah, sure, cool. We'll and I on. think that the idea was, um, and this is, like, a, I guess, an insight into the viewers. Like, yeah. their goal was, um, I think, to to kind of wine and dine us with a fancy boat and a, a cool experience, experience mm -hmm. in return that hopefully we will play the play game, the game yeah. and promote it. Um, and it's, it's funny because it was, I guess it's quite a, um, it's, it's quite a, it's, it's a weird one because it's like almost unspoken, isn't it? It's a bit controversial actually to talk about, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It might be bad for your brand. For I didn't your... even think about this though, <clears throat> so far into it. But it's um, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't think I necessarily have anything against it. But it's um, it's interesting when you kind of go, well, I could pay a YouTuber to promote something, but actually, what if I could buy something nice for them and then kind of like guilt them into doing it? Yeah, yeah, it was odd, but <clears throat> regardless, I mean, I, it was a good experience. They, and I think that they, the, the people we worked with on the deal were like, well, on the deal, there was no deal, but the people we worked with no contract, were, were great and yeah, they yeah, were yeah. nice. But yeah, there was no sort of agreement on that. No, thing. no. And that th type of thing happens Did quite a lot. Did we hear anything from them? Or well, I, I know we heard from some people who worked for the company, but like about that game? That I that don't know. I don't know. And I think that happens a lot in this world. Yeah. I think viewers will probably underestimate how many like games there are that just come around they just have budgets and they do silly things and then they just disappear yeah, like they just it's... disappear yeah and i think actually f talking about that you and me historically have actually been quite careful on brand deals like we right. we don't try to do things that we think are gonna be bad things or unethical or yeah whatnot. and um you oh know... there's actually a good one to chat about but i'm not sure we should mention the country the country. Yeah, it might be bad for oh, us to say something bad. Yeah. However, uh, there's... Maybe the, in the future episodes. Yeah, yeah. So, well, there's certain countries who are also trying to make themselves look better. And um, they have a lot of money. Yeah, and so they, they will pay they will pay influencers sometimes. To just go or there. just take influencers to these countries yeah. to promote those countries. Um, As for tourism. Yeah, for tourism. But yeah. they're actually... Yeah, some of them are not like some their great living places. standards might not be up to UN's yeah. value. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of stuff like that, and it's, yeah. I think it's funny. And we've actually, we've been we've been trying to avoid these things as yeah. hard as it may be because they pay well, and sometimes sometimes you got to be selfish and take or, the check. Actually, but... you know another thing as well. Now that you say that, they sometimes they will hide things and package them up in different ways, like so. Um, we've this. Hmm, don't know how to say this without saying it, but some there are some countries that are getting quite smart with it, where they'll like almost do like charitable things. Oh yeah, that's true actually. And they will kind mm. of pay people to participate in this charitable cause. Yeah, but it's actually the 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 real reason is to promote this country or tourism or something like that. Can you believe? that that there's charity events that influencers and famous people get flown out to and get paid a ton of money to be at a charity event yeah that's a bit odd right i guess the, plus the, to promote tourism for that specific country who's doing su such a good job hosting that charity event that they will they will explain it by saying they, that yeah. they will generate more money in the long run for charity right but, but some of these budgets are unrealistic yeah. But yeah, like th those are some crazy things that are that that that, that come along our path as as and an I think, influencer. I think that as, would as be maybe this is a good one to throw to the audience as well. Yeah, and I think it would be good to get some feedback on whether that's something that people would want to listen to, like or or just yeah. hear a bit more about the inside scoop on things because I think we don't really want to be going into it if it's not of interest to anyone. Like it, it might just be that people just don't care about it. Like, and that's yeah. just the way the world is. But yeah. if people are interested in getting that sort, yeah. sort of insight, then 
maybe we're okay talking about it. I don't know. Maybe we're not. Maybe we'll be shooting ourselves in the foot a bit. Well, we got to be careful with certain with naming certain things because we, sure. might, we might be yeah yeah. But I think hurting ourselves. I think that. De- but it also depends on yeah the viewers and if that's something that the viewers want then yeah you know it will, we can try and figure so, out how we can do it. To answer the question, the best holiday you've been on is on that boat. No 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 no. Okay no. I'm just not that big into holidays that what? much. Why is that? Why don't you like going out and and and, and enjoying? I don't know. Something? I enjoy enjoy enjoying things. You went to Iceland once. Yeah, I mean it was okay. It was okay. It was icy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean it was <clears throat> just like you missed your dogs. Yeah, you missed your home. Yeah, I mean it's, it's... you missed me in in your ears. No, no. Oh. No, I, I think, yeah, I mean, I, I, I enjoy going to places, um, but it's, I'm not driven by it, I think. Right. Um, it's, you don't relax. Like, what? you know, m- most people, they, they work a nine to five, uh, they'll work for five, six, seven months, they save up a little bit of money and go somewhere for two weeks to just relax. You know, you know why know, that put is? Put their hands though? up in the air and, and say, all right, this is me, myself time. You know, you know the, what I mean? the funny thing for me though, is I just don't find going to unfamiliar environments very relaxing. Why is that? I think I just, it's just that, to me. That is such a perfect explanation of you. <laughs> it's, it's funny as well, because I oh. see, I actually, sometimes I enjoy going to the airport more than the place I go to. <laughs> Because I enjoy, like, I feel like most, some airports now, I have, like, the perfect system down right. for going through the airport. Mm. And I just, I enjoy the the seamless process of going through an airport and, like, how I can do it, all these familiar elements of it. Mm. And then, but then I end up in this, like, random place and I'm like, okay, I've got to, like, figure all this out. And then it's not that really relaxing. We're talking about relaxation, by the way. So, yeah, I'm not, when I say enjoying, I'm like, I'm not like hype to go to the airport when is the last time you've been on a holiday actually it's before you answer that it's kind of funny but some youtubers will be like oh but work is so hard i have be, i've been on a holiday for five years have you heard people saying that yeah i hate that why there's, well, there's plenty of people who don't go or on holidays or unable to yeah i mean i think don't act don't act like it's some human right well it kind of is is it a human right to have a hot to have, to have a holiday a ho- to, have, to have time off but a holiday Right, yeah. I, I think, I mean, what they're really saying is they want, like, a break. <laughs> right? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean... Obviously. It, but the funny thing is, is that we've actually always... We've... <laughs> it's actually a funny topic in general, right? Because you're sort of alluding to, like, burnout and all that sort of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I feel like we've sort of had always had a good system down for that. Like, w- w- if we've ever wanted to go somewhere, we just... We just make some extra videos to cover it. Yeah. And then go away. We don't actually stop. I mean, I'm traveling all the time. Yeah. And I feel like we don't we don't really get burnt out. No, I'm good. Like you, you, Quibble Cop mentioned that. He said that I'm closer to a burnout than you. Yeah. Which I thought was a little odd. Yeah. Because I'm not I'm not close to a burnout. I wouldn't say like you know, maybe I mentioned this before, maybe I'm not putting all the effort into my content as I used to mm. but that doesn't mean i'm close to a burnout no sometimes it's just nice to do something else something different yeah i, d- I don't know what it is with us i mean but... if i if i was close to a burnout i don't think i would have been sitting here today and flying here traveling here yeah doing all this chatting having drama chats with quibble cop and craner you know like that's exhausting if i think close it's... To a burnout that's not possible it's interesting as well i actually um i i I did. So I got invited by um, YouTube to do um, a talk. There was a, an event hosted in, in Valencia that YouTube yeah. had on. And I did a talk um, with uh, one of the YouTube um, like top team. Um, right. And there was a bit of a, con- a talk about it at one point about burnout. And because they, they mentioned how yeah. I upload like every day and how I don't seem to ever break that. Uh, right. And at the time it was like we just we were doing two videos a day at some point so i think it was funny talking about it as well because it seems to be like a lot of people that have burnout they have it like regularly so and it's almost like they burn out and then when they come back they go like 500 percent, yeah and for like a couple months and then they they then burn out again and then suddenly are disappearing and, and it's almost like we've figured out the sweet spot 
in our life where we can put out content and we are, you know, I think we've always been quite fan focused. So we, you know, the idea of not putting up something one day is we'll be letting down the viewers and, yeah. and that might have a more negative effect on us than actually not uploading. Yeah. I won't sleep very well so, knowing I won't have a video. So we're going to, we, we almost feel a lot more relief and calm and relaxation and recovery from just going today. I'm just going to smash out five videos and then I'll be ahead five videos yeah. and then I can just take it easy for the next couple of days. Yeah. That's our version of taking a break. Yeah. And it seems to stop. And then you go to the airport to enjoy it. Yeah. And then I'm like, <laughs> I'm just going to take a flight there and then get on a flight back. No, it, it, it <laughs> from, seems to you go from airport to airport. You're not, yeah. you don't actually I do an leave. airport tour. You know, like a, you don't do like a bar, like a pub. You tour. should, you should do start an aviation channel. Why? Because you love airports so much. I don't love airports. I I'm just, just like kidding. the routine. You, yeah, I guess you like how neat everything goes back. Yeah, to yeah. Passport control, security. Yeah, and especially like... Um, you I've love done, it when you have to take your shoes well, off I've done and back a, on. I've done a lot of travel. So I've got like a um, I've got like a nice status at my airline now. Oh, fancy. So there's like a nice lounge and it's... You're, luck you're a luxurious travel. Yeah, yeah, well, it's just nice. Like it's, it's a nice experience and um, yeah, but it's like, I don't think it's that interesting to talk about <laughs> <laughs> no, i mean I, I like airports yeah but i do think it's interesting to, to hear that you don't like particularly you don't really like traveling yeah i mean i think that don't like is not really the best yeah. wording for it but i get it yeah the, the concept of what you're saying is correct yeah i'm not i'm not overly fussed about it and i think that usually i would take a few days at home um you know with sort of my family over yeah over like going out and to a ho holiday destination or right, you know right, doing right. something crazy like that yeah for me it kind of just depends yeah. how i'm feeling i think you are similar and then different in certain well you know i'm 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 quite weather orientated so if if it's a bad winter i i, I, I i'm gonna go and seek the sun you know what i mean like yeah that's that's how i work i think actually it'd be interesting for you jelly um do you feel like the viewers have a uh, an understanding of so you because obviously you live in monaco yes but you 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 also do s visit other places like Correct. quite regularly yeah so you're so where i stay in one place a lot you like to go and visit other places i'm everywhere like do you is there a specific reason why because you've i think in the crane episode you mentioned you go to sweden because the boat well, uh, I go to Sweden realistically, not because the boat is there, but uh, we go to visit family. So uh, Sweden is our summer holiday destination. Right. And uh, that's because we person, Santa, my girlfriend, she is Swedish and uh, obviously she has family there. Yeah. And the Swedish summers are beautiful uh, when the weather's good. Yeah. You know, it, it'll, there's a lot of islands, there's a lot of fun activities and it's very relaxing. Yeah. You get to settle down. And you know, to access those islands, you need, you need a boat. That's why I've got the boat there. So yeah, that's my, that's my summer spot. And then we've got some family down in Spain and we visit them often. Uh, obviously that's more of a winter thing. The weather's better in Spain. Um, Monaco's home base. And then I am Dutch. Right. So, so I, family I, I visit well. the Netherlands. Yeah. So it's funny, actually, then you don't tend, you don't actually go on that many holidays. I don't really go you to go like to Ibiza you go or to, you go to Miami places. or uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I go from uh, visiting family to my own home, to family again, to a summer house. And now you'll be visiting the UK as well regularly to, yeah. to shoot. So the now pot. we got number five. Yeah. Gosh, what am I doing with my life? And you think I like airports? Clearly, you really like the airports. No, I actually, you know, you're kind of uh, in a you're you're in a sweet spot because my issue is that I can't fly with the same airline all the time to create that status you talked about. Right. Because my issue is all these like Europe mainly has for Americans it's hard to understand this. Europe has low fare airlines. Yeah. And they don't do this status stuff. They don't have fancy airports with lounges. London does, but a lot of places don't. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I travel like an average traveler. Yeah. I uh, have to suffer in long baggage lines. One of, one of the people. Joe. Yeah. But, you know, you get used to it. It's not so bad. Um, usually I start a timer when I leave the house. And then 
like a stopwatch and then I'll stop it when I've arrived. And then I look at it and I'm like, oh, it's not too bad. So next time you just run faster and you, it, it, won't, it won't take as long. Mm, that depends. Yeah. Once you've landed, running faster right. matters. But All right. Well, Jelly, I think this has been... This has been a good reflection. You think so? Yeah, I think it's been good. I, I mean, think it's been fun. I think as well. we've maybe opened ourselves up to like maybe some slightly con controversial issues, but at the same time, I think it's been a great reflection. And I think looking forwards, I think. Um, I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Josh. I um no. I I think it's been a good reflection. I really enjoyed this as well. We needed this. Yeah. In order to continue our show. Yeah. Two thirds. Yes. And moving forwards, we're going to have some some great guests lined up. Yeah. And uh, hopefully they're going to be some really fun and interesting episodes. Yeah. And now that we've, you know, now that these episodes are live, we can see fans, we can, we can see you guys' comments and your guys' feedback. If you want a specific guest on or you want someone on again, please tell us why. Yeah. All right. Well, there it is. Wow. We did it Cut. again, Josh. Well done, Jelly. Thank you, mate.